Hey there, everybody. How you doing? I am Francis, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. Last episode, we had a showdown with Rufus on the roof, but he ran away. And now we got me up for everybody else, and Tifa, being truthful to her word, is here waiting for us. Hey, Tifa. Where's Rufus? I couldn't finish him. Looks like this is going to get complicated. Off we go. We're coming out to one of my favorite parts of this game, by the way. The whole escaping Midgar part. One of my favorite parts of all time in this game. And now we're back with uh, Eris and Barrett and Red. I'm going ahead! Y you go do that. Oh. I guess we're not leaving through the front main entrance. Surrounded, huh? If I was alone, this wouldn't be a thing, but... I got a reputation to protect. Hey, screw you and your reputation, okay? You all get out while you can. It's not you they're after, it's me. No, they're after us too now since, you know, we broke in. And, you know, the president being dead and all. Yeah, well, that ain't happening. You got caught up in this over Marlene. Now it's my turn to watch out for you. Okay, playtime's over for you jackasses. It's go time. Thank you, Mr. Barrett. Who are you calling Mr. Barrett? That just don't sound right. Well then, if you are through talking, may I suggest that we think of a way to get out of here? Huh? Oh. Oh yeah. You a cold man, just like someone else around here I know. Could you be talking about me? Did you say something? Not a thing. So, what are we gonna do? Barrett! And as always, Tifa has the answers. Tifa, where's Cloud? Everyone, over here. Oh, huh, what's up? Where's Cloud? I'll tell you later. Hurry, hurry. Oh, here we go. Getting out of here. I always love this part. <laughs> Cloud's, Cloud's got a ride in style. I think that answers your question, Barrett, about where Cloud is. He's right there. And we're just gonna bust on out of here. I don't know how we're driving upstairs, by the way. Well, if you're all ready, let's go. Bust them right out the windows onto the highway. All right, control the bike with the directional buttons and save your friends with the truck from the Shimmer Pursuit Troop. So yeah, we move uh, left to right and we can push uh, square and X to, or square and circle, not X, to attack on left and right. All right, I think we're ready to begin this. Let's go do this game. I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm sometimes terrible at this game, but I do enjoy this. So we just have to chase off the, our pursuers and kill them, uh, basically. Yeah, these uh, bastards are going to come. They're going to be ramming into the truck, hurting our friends. We got to just take them out like that. And I'm doing terribly right now. <clears throat> there we go. No, get out here, scum. I, I didn't even swing my sword there. I think I just killed you by ramming into you. I'm sometimes terrible by swinging, but I still do enjoy this though. Don't get me wrong there. No! Come back here! Eh. Was his corpse hurting my friends? Jeez, that's some strong corpse. Even in death, they're still doing damage to everybody. There we go. Hopefully, we're still doing alright though. Does anyone else enjoy this though? Like, just like the epic moment of breaking out, you know, it's one of my, just one of my favorite moments of this game. No, 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 you go away. Y you go away too. You all go away. We don't want you here. We're just trying to leave Midgar. I thought that's what you wanted was for us to get out of Midgar. Ah, uh, these camera angles make it hard though. That's a complaint I have about this. <clears throat> Eh. Oh, here we are. We made it to the end. There's that thing. 
Don't try and strike that thing. We can't do any damage to it. And it is the only thing stopping us from getting out of here. Here we go! Whatever this thing is, we're fighting it. It's a back attack and it's going to get the first strike. Bow! Doesn't do much damage though, but there it is. And that's the only thing stopping us from getting out of here. The arm attack! Uh, get, get, get your arms away from me. Alright, attack. Uh, let's see you go boat. Uh, yeah, you can attack as well. And let's change you to the front row. Boat. Arm attack. Get your creepy ass arms away from me. Oh, boat's doing some good damage. Oh yeah. Let's heal up. Boat. Oh, it's getting ready to do something. Oh, twin burner. Who wants to burn our asses? Ah, oh, jeez! That did some good damage, yikes! Alright, big shot! Thank you, Tifa. And you got a limit break built up, so that's gonna be fun. Ooh, big shot did some good damage, hell yeah! And yeah! We got the yeah! This means we get to do more damage. Nice! And let's try some fire. Let's unleash a little hell upon ya. Hey, you got something worth stealing. We'll try it. Ooh. Nothing to steal, okay. Well, it was worth trying, you know. And here we go. Sometimes Crest Dash can stun your enemies, but I don't think it always works on bosses. Most bosses it doesn't work on. But something like this, I think it will work on. Oh, Rolling Fire. Thought for a moment you were dead. Well, that's... Well, I can see why it's called Rolling Fire. Holy shit. Big shot! Pow. Uh-oh, it's doing a thing. Twin Burner. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. Let's see how much health you have left. Oh, never mind, you're dead. Don't need to, I know how much health you have left now. Big Zippo, big zero, big none, big nothing. Hey, I learned Somersault. Cool. I got another star pendant. And well, that's that. Well, what do we do now? We leave. Sephiroth is alive. I... I have a score to settle. And that'll save the planet? Seems like it. Alright, I'm going. I don't think taking out Sephiroth though would save our... Would, you know, stop our Shinra problem. They're still gonna be sucking Mako out of the planet. I'll go too. I have things that I want to find out. About the Ancients, no doubt. Many things. I guess this is goodbye, big girl. Guess so. This is actually when the game gets good, in my opinion. Like when you're no longer a big girl. This is when things start to pick up. I guess this is the start of our journey. Yeah, our journey just began, guys. You hate traveling? I don't know, but... I don't have anywhere else to go. So I guess it doesn't really matter whether I like to travel or not. Good point. I'm going back to my hometown. I'll go with you as far as that. Sounds good. Eris? You know what? This is the first time I ever left Midgar. Well, there's a first for everything. Really? You worried? A little. No, maybe a lot. But I have my bodyguard, right? That's right. We told Eris' mom to go somewhere safe, so Marlene should be safe too. Yeah, should be. She said she didn't want to stay in Midgar anymore. Maybe it's for the best. How would you know about that part though? Like, you were in the Sharon building at the time. 
Well, time to leave. Then, let's get let's get out of here. We have no more reason to stay here. We need a group leader for our journey. Of course, only me could be the leader. You think so? It would have to be Cloud. <laughs> Bear's like, what? But I'm the obvious choice, you know? Alright. Go northeast to a town called Kong. If something happens, we'll meet up there. Besides, we can't have five people strolling around the fields. It's too dangerous. Let's split into two parties. We already did that. Okay, if I use the Barrett and Tifa, you know, for that fight, why would, why now would I want to change things up? Bye! See you in calm! And we're done here in Midgar! And welcome to the world map! Saving on the world map. On the world map, access the menu anytime and select save to save your game. Yeah, one of the big things about Final Fantasy games. The world map is the only place where you can save really wherever you want. Nice! We're in the Midgar area. And we want to go to Calm. I usually like to do this. So I can... Actually, I like it just like that, you know. So it doesn't take up too much of the screen. And Calm, I believe, was down here. Uh, if you're wondering how, to, how I changed the size of the map by the way, you push select. So you have like mini map, full screen map, and no map. You can push L2 and R2 to do that. L1, R1 to rotate the map around. And there's Calm. That's where we need to go. And we can't really go back to Midgar. I mean, we can, but we just be in the area we were just at, you know, where there's not a whole lot to do. So, cross slash. Attack, attack. Bye bye. Nicely done. I was hoping for Cloud or Bear to kill it because I want to start learning level 2 Nimit Breaks, you know? And for that, they have to be responsible for the final hit. Tifa needs some too to get her level 2 Nimit Break, but she just learned it, so it's going to be a while before she does. I wish there was a way to check my progress of, you know, how many more kills are needed. And well, we have finally made it to Calm. That wasn't much of a journey, but I'm still going to save. Alright. Well, let's go to Calm. There ain't much else we can do right now anyways. And there ain't much we can do in here either. Uh, this episode is pretty much going to be story time, just letting you guys know. So this is Calm. Yo, I'll be waiting at the end. Hurry up and get your butt over there. Let's go, Cloud. Well, I'd like to check the shops, but I can't really do that. Well, I could do that, but without my party, how would I know what to buy, so... Yeah, I won't waste any time. We'll just go to the inn. Hello. Mr. Cloud, your party is waiting for you on the second floor. Oh, I thank you. Cloud, you're late. What do you mean I'm late? I just came here. Yo, man, you're late. I literally just followed you. Calm your patience, man. I didn't even take a minute. Sorry to keep you waiting. I guess everyone's here now. So, let's hear your story. You know, the one about Sephiroth and the crisis facing the planet. Let's hear it all. Alright. I used to want to be like Sephiroth, so I joined Soldier. After working with Sephiroth on several missions, we became friends. You call that a friend? Please hold on to all questions until the end of the story. Thank you very much. Yeah, well, he's older than me and he hardly ever talked about himself. I wonder why. So I guess you call him a war buddy. We trusted each other until one day. One day? After the war was over, it was Soldier's duty to put down any resistance against the Shimra. That was five years ago. I was 16. Ah, so... 
I'm going to do some math to see how old Cloud is. He's 16. This is five years ago. He was 16. So... That means he'd be 21 now. It sure is raining hard. Hey, how are you feeling? Yeah, please don't talk to me. I'm alright. I wanna know. I never had motion sickness. Everything okay? Hey. Settle down. They gave me some new material though. I can't wait to use it. Just like a kid. I can't help it, man. Are you going to brief us about this mission? This isn't a typical mission. Good. Why do you say that? I joined soldiers so I could be like you. But by the time I made first quest, the war was already over. My big hopes of becoming a hero like you ended with the war. That's why I always sign up whenever there's a big mission. Kind of a way to prove myself. Say, how do you feel, Mr. Steparoff? I thought you want a briefing. Our mission is to investigate an old Mako reactor. There have been reports of it malfunctioning and producing brutal creatures. First, we will dispose of those creatures. Then, we'll locate the problem and neutralize it. Alright, sounds simple enough. Brutal creatures? Where? The Mako Reactor at Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I'm from! Hmm, hometown. Oh! S something strange just crashed into our truck. That would be our monster. Oh boy! I'm very disappointed that, uh, well, Sephiroth is in a battle, which is cool, but we don't get to control him. He just does whatever he wants to, and Cloud won't get to do anything. It's pretty much a self play battle. Sephiroth will do whatever he feels like doing. Can't even hurt Sephiroth. Oh, he's bringing us back to life. How, how kind of you. Up oh, here it comes again. And it's over. Would have been more cool if I could actually control Sephiroth this this thing. Sephiroth's strength is unreal. He is far stronger in reality than any story you might have heard about him. So where do you come in? Me? I was mesmerized by the way Sephiroth fought. Hmm. And then, we reach Nibelheim. Ah. Home sweet home. How does it feel? It's your first time back to your hometown in a long time, right? Well, yeah. So, how does it feel? I wouldn't know because I don't have a hometown. Um, how about your parents? My mother is Genova. She died right after she gave birth to me. As for my father... Don't know much about his father. What does it matter? Alright, let's go. You know, right there, I, I never could tell if he's crying or laughing or if he did a little bit of both. Hey, dude! You seem nervous. Psst. You keep wandering around here and you'll get in trouble. So don't do it. Alright. How about you? It's so boring being on watch. You want to do what we always do. Shall we practice? Practice? Oh, you mean practice my pose? Does someone in soldier always have to be careful about what our people think? How did it go? Like this? 
Perfect. Good job. I really don't want to be in soldier. Okay. The Mako smell is pretty bad here. Indeed it is. I'm going to go explore my town. Yo, wait a minute! What now? Isn't that... Um... The name of Sephiroth's mother? Iron Iron Genova! That's that damn head of spook living in the Shimra building! What is living in the Shimra building? She did she not there no more. That's right. Barrett, would you please let us hear what Cloud has to say? You can ask questions later. Yeah, I already told you. Hold on to all questions until the end of the story. Thank you very much. Tifa, I was only Okay, Cloud. Continue. It's a reunion of childhood pals. I was really surprised with Tifa. Where are you? The town was quiet. Everyone must be staying in their houses, afraid to come out because of the monsters. No. Maybe it's not the monsters. Maybe they're afraid of us. Maybe. We leave for the reactor at dawn. Make sure you get to sleep early. Okay. All we need is one lookout, so the others get some rest. Yes, sir! Oh, that's right. You may visit your family and friends. Oh, thank you. Hey, dude! I heard Sephiroth was coming and got my camera ready. I want to show Sephiroth and a monster. Take my picture, then. I don't take pictures with nobody's nobody's don't you know who the hell I am? I'm your, your I'm your hometown hero Welcome uh, Thank you Hey, aren't you? Well, have I come here before I don't remember Okay, now you're pissing me off. This don't matter. So get on with it. Oh uh, Okay, that never happened then I meant to say we went into this house. This is my house. It has nothing to do with the incident five years ago. Yo, wait, I wanna know. Me too, it's been a long time, right? Tell us more! You saw your family, right? Alright, we'll talk about it. I don't know if you could call it a family. My father died when I was still very young. That's why my mom was living alone in this house. Yeah, I saw her. My mom, she was a vibrant woman. Hadn't changed at all. But a few days later, she died. But when I saw her, she looked fine. Oh, that's sad. Uh... Y yes Cloud? Indeed. I'm back. Welcome home, Cloud. Hi, Mom. Whoop. Come, come. Let me take a look at you. Hmm. You look so handsome. What? Why, thank you. So, is this a soldier uniform? Indeed. Mom, I... Whoop. My, how you've grown. I bet the girls never leave you alone. Not really. I don't really care. I'm worried about you. There are a lot of temptations in the city. I feel a lot better if you just settled down and had a nice girlfriend. I'm alright. You should have an older girlfriend. One that will take care of you. I think that would be the perfect type for you. Not interested. Are you eating alright? I'm alright. The company takes care of me. Surprise, huh? Is that so? You can't cook though, right? I don't need to cook. I was really sick about how you were doing. Cloud? You know Cloud. 
Isn't that right, Cloud? What? I will always be your mother. Well, yeah, that's a given. Let's stop this. I don't want to talk about home no more. Let's go in here. Cloud? Did you go into my house? Oh yeah, this is Tifa's house. I thought you might be home. Gotta make myself look right. Going upstairs. Yep. Parents' room. Let's go into Tifa's room. Cloud! Did you go into my room? I sure did. And I did a couple of things while I was here. There's actually two things you can do. You can sneak through her drawers if you want and take some underwear. If that's something you really want to do. Cloud! It's true. Cloud. We're talking about something really important here. It was five years ago. I was a horny idiot at the time. Hey, let's jam on the piano. If I can figure out how to... There we go. Did you play my piano? Yeah, I jammed on it. Now, how did this go? I'm going to look this up because I legitimately do forget. Alright, I remember. So, I'm looking at here. X. L1 and triangle. Square. Circle. X. Square. L1 and square at the same time. And there we go. I think I did it right. I guess we'll find out. Alright, let's go down here. There ain't much here except for this dude. Or woman, I mean, sorry. Oh, you're with the streamer. Welcome. Oh, I'm sorry. It's you, Cloud. I didn't recognize you. Hi. Shinra. Shinra. Soldier! Sasa! Are you going to kill the monsters? Are you going to? <laughs> I like that little boy. It just says everything weird. Shinra! Shinra! I don't know why that always cracks me up, but it does. Alright, we'll just go to the end now. The, uh, the whole wind's uh, booked up by Shimra for the night. Hey, I happen to be part of the Shimra. Cloud? Is it you, Cloud? It must have been two years. Say, you really moved up in the world, being under Sephiroth's command and all. I know, it's impressive, isn't it? Hmm? Is Shimra here to get rid of the monsters? You bet we are. And who are you? I'm Zongin! I travel around the world teaching children martial arts! Oh. I have 128 students all over the world. In this town, a girl named Tifa is my student. Oh, so that's how Tifa got trained to fight. She was under your, uh, tutoring. Did you say Tifa? Tifa has good sense. She'll be a powerful fighter. And she sure is. Alright, well. I got, uh, the rest of Sharon waiting for me upstairs. Hey, Sephiroth. What are you looking at? The scenery. I feel like I know this place. I can't explain it, but it feels familiar. We have an early start tomorrow. You should get some sleep soon. Alright! I've hired a guy to the Mako reactor. I've heard she's young. I hope we can rely on her. I'm sure we can. Especially if it is who I think it is. So where's this guy? Once the guy gets here, we're heading out. Listen to me, Sephiroth, in case something happens. Yeah, our guide's Tifa. Trust me. I'll be alright, Dad. I have two men from Soldier with me. I'm Tifa, nice to meet you. Tifa? You're the guy? That's right. I just happen to be the number one guide in this town. It's too dangerous. I can't involve you in something like this. She's been under uh, Master Zongin's training. She'll be fine. Then there's no problem if you protect her, right? Let's go. Okie dokie. Um. 
Mr. Sephora, please let me take one picture for a memento. Tifa, can you ask him for me to... I don't see why not. Come on, Sephiroth. You gotta be a part of this. He's not gonna take the picture for you because we're a bunch of nobodies. Cheese! Great, thank you. I'll give each of you a copy once it gets developed. Thank you. Here we go, across Mount Nibble. Marco Reactor was built in Mount Nibble. On Mount Nibble! Not in it. The cold air of the mountains of Nibble. It was no different. Well, once it's cold, it's always cold, I guess. At least we don't have to navigate the mountains, so it'll go on its own. Oh, except for here, I guess. It gets harder from here. Follow me. Shouldn't we go one person at a time across this ladder? Uh, the bridge. That's why I said one at a time. Yeah, this ain't good. Whoa! Damn. That's why we should have gone one at a time. To avoid that from happening. Luckily, we're not dead. Everyone seems to be alright. Can we get back to where we were? These caves are intertwined. Just like an ant farm. Oh, and Sephiroth, there seems to be one person missing. Yeah, we have a man down. It may sound cold, but we got no time to search for him. We can't go back now, so we must go on. We'll travel together from here. Well, hopefully... That guy's all right. But Sephiroth does make a point. Oh, hello. What's this? A mysteriously colored cave. It must be the Mako Energy. This mountain is especially a dumb bit in it. That's why the Mako Reactor was built here. Oh, that explains why it looks so pretty. Oh, battle time. Uh, the battle's here, we don't really have to worry about. Sephiroth will obliterate whatever gets in our way. Cloud can do some stuff, but not much. Also, I thought, uh, uh, like, in a truck, Cloud said that he had some new material he wanted to try out. He doesn't seem to have anything, though. Well, it was pretty cool, though, seeing Sephiroth take out everything single-handedly. Ooh. And what's this? A Mako Fountain. It's a miracle of nature. It's so beautiful! Most miracles are, you know? If the Mako Reactor continues to suck up the energy, this fountain will dry up too. You think Shimmer cares? Materia. When you condense Mako energy, materia is produced. It's very rare to be able to see materia in its natural state. By the way, why is it that when you use materia, you can also use magic too? You were a soldier and didn't even know that? The knowledge and wisdom of the ancients is held in the materia. Anyone with this knowledge can freely use the powers of the land and the planet. That knowledge interacts between ourselves and a planet calling up magic. Or so they say. Magic. A mysterious power? <laughs> Did I say something funny? What are you doing, Tifa, by the way? A man once told me to never use an unscientific term such as mysterious power. It shouldn't even be called magic. Then what should we call it? I still remember how angry he was. Uh, who is that? Hojo Shimmer Inc. 
an inexperienced man assigned to take over the work of a great scientist. He was a walking mass of complexes. A Marco Fountain! So this is where the knowledge of the ancients is? That is what he said! And I would trust uh, Sephiroth when it comes to this stuff. Alright! We made it to the reactor! Finally! We finally made it! We sure took the long way though. Tifa, you wait here. I'm going inside too, I want to see. You can't do that. Only authorized people are allowed in. This place is full of Shimra's industrial secrets. But... Take care of the lady, will ya? She has a name, you know. Y you can't go in. Ah, man! Better take real good care of me then, if I can't go in. Well, it won't be too long, Tifa. Don't, don't worry. We just gotta figure out what's going on and take care of the problem. Alright. Hey, Genova! I know that name. This is Genova, right? The lock won't open. Where are we going? This is the reason for the malfunction. This part is broken. Cloud, close the valve. Alright, I can do that. No problem. There, problem solved. Why did it break? But I would like to know. Now I see. Hojo. But even doing this will never put you on the same level as Professor Gas. This is a system that condenses and freezes the Mako energy. That is, when it's working correctly. Now, what does Mako energy become when it's further condensed? Uh, um. Oh, yeah! It becomes a material, doesn't it? Right, normally. But Hojo put something else in there. Take a look. Something else? Look through the window. And you will see what I'm talking about. Hi! That's no material, that's a monster! What is this? Normal members of Sojo are humans that have been showered with Mako. You're different from the Earth, but you're still human. But what are they? They're exposed to a high degree of Mako. Far more than you. Is this some kind of monster? Exactly, and it's Hojo and Shimra that produce these monsters. Mutated living organisms produced by Mako energy. That's what these monsters really are. Normal members of Soldier? You mean you're different? Uh, hey, Sephiroth! No. Was I... Whoa! Sephiroth, calm down! Was I created this way too? Am I the same as all these monsters? Sephiroth? You saw it, all of them! We're humans! Human, no way! I've always felt since I was small that I was different from the others. Special in some way. But not like this. Huh? I, I thought we fixed the problem. Why is that Frico being released? Oh, it's creepy though. Am I human? I didn't quite understand what Sephiroth was saying at the time. I was even more surprised by the fact that Shimra was producing monsters. 
Damn, Shimmer, the more I hear, the more I hate him. Who would have ever thought that the Mako Reactor held a secret like that? That would seem to explain the increase in the number of monsters recently. I think we should listen carefully to Cloud. Don't you think so, Barrett? Why are you talking to me? Yeah, you know what? We're going to take a break. We'll continue the story time in the next episode. So, we're going to save and take a break. Yeah, maybe so. Well, I take a breather here, you know. Yeah, I need a breather too. I've been talking a lot. So, yeah, we're going to save here and we'll continue this uh, story time in the next episode. So, thank you everybody for joining me and coming back to Final Fantasy VII. Hope you guys are enjoying this and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye, everybody.